Hey, what's going on out there? I'm Sean Devine. Hope you all are doing well. Today's video, we are going to be covering five mixing ear candy plugins. And so these are plugins that are going to allow you to add some really cool flavor and modulation and movement to your mixes or your productions to, you know, really just create some excitement that uh, is beyond just, you know, pulling the faders up and down and panning and compressing and EQing and adding reverb and all the other things that we do. This is just going to take it up a notch. And when your listeners hear this, they're going to go, how in the world did the engineer or the producer do that? So let's go ahead and dive in here. The first on my list of top five mixing ear candy plugins is Shaper Box 2 from Cable Guys. This is a very, very powerful plugin that provides a lot of different parameters for modulation. So you've got a time module, volume, pan, width, and filter and then you can set these up all in tandem to create some really cool effects so for this one here i actually used it in an intro for one of my songs that i released recently and then i just did a little tape stop at the end here in logic with the the fade tool the shaper box does this to it Message isn't complicated. Have a Pretty cool, right? So let's take a look at some of the different modules. First, in the filter section, let's just say that we went up here to the cutoff and we wanted to make that a little more dramatic. You can follow along and see it's just dipping down from the uh, the high end. It's uh, filtering it out and then it comes back up. So if we want to make that more dramatic, we'll just drop this down and let's hear what that does. My message is pretty cool, pretty cool. So let's go over to the time module, which this is great. And there's something similar in another uh, plugin from Cable Guys called Halftime. But uh, this I found in Shaver Box is just really cool to be able to utilize it within the other modules. So if we uh, watch this, you'll see how this is uh, affecting the timing of the sound here. So let's say we wanted to just move that curve. My message. So then you've got volume, so you can hear that. If we turn that off. My message is... And we're also controlling the panning. You can hear that going from left to right. And then we can also change the width. So if we want to really make that more dramatic here. So you can hear it actually go all the way into mono and then back up to 200%, which is going to be a particularly wide sound. So obviously you can see the power in using all these different modules in tandem. They also recently added a crush module which this used lightly, which I'm gonna turn the mix down and uh, I'm gonna adjust this a bit. So we'll have the resample come down. Really fun plugin here with ShaperBox 2. So many different creative possibilities. You know, I just use this in more of a production sense. Obviously, you know, we're applying a lot of mixing type effects, but you can use this on vocals, you know, different uh, transitions and maybe a bridge section where you want to add something really interesting to some instrumentation or the vocal. Coming in at number two on my list of ear candy mixing plugins is Effectrix from Sugar Bites. Sugar Bites makes some very unique instruments as well as audio processing and mixing tools like this one. They also do one that I really like called Looperator which uh, is definitely an honorable mention on the list. But uh, Effectrix, in my case, gets used most out of those two. And uh, it's a very fun plugin where you have, once again, all these different modulation options and cool little effects like reverses, stretch, vinyl, tonal delay, a stutter. And then you have a sequencer, a block sequencer, and then you can apply these effects here in this sequencer, this step sequencer. Uh, so very fun stuff. So let me just show you what I've used it for here, which is to take a, uh, a vocal that was kind of 
built to be modeled like a uh, a turntable sort of effect that uh, Moses, the vocalist, he kind of did it this way already. But I wanted to make it sound more like it was actually being, you know, uh, spun on a turntable by a DJ and scratched. So let's play it without effect tricks, which I just have it as the last thing in the vocal chain, and then we'll play it with it. So you can hear it. Moses already did a good job of just kind of doing that sort of delivery. Now watch Effectrix, and what I've done is I've just programmed in the vinyl effect, which is uh, something like a tape stop sort of thing. And then we've also got the little scratch loop that's on the uh, the last of this bar. So take a listen here. If you have Logic, you've got something of a tape stop with the fade tool. Uh, but in terms of other DAWs and also just being able to program it in this way where you can just do it in a sequencer versus having to go in and like draw all this stuff, it makes it a lot more convenient. Let's just say that uh, we wanted to, you know, put in some of the filtering and things. Let's just put that like say right here. From fuck it to fuck it to big, big city. From fuck it to fuck it to big, big city. Fuck it to fuck it to big, big city. Fuck it to fuck it to big, big city. Fuck it to fuck it to big, big city. Fuck it to fuck it to big, big city. So you get the idea. The possibilities are really endless with Effectrix. And I just find that it's really fun to use on vocals. Also, obviously, on instrumentation in a mix. You know, sometimes if I need to do some cool little tape stops or some stutters with a beat, the producer has kind of given me free range to do some of that type of stuff. This is one of my favorite uh, ear candy toys to uh, pull out and make that mix more exciting. Coming in at number three on my list of top ear candy mixing plugins is a collaboration from Dance and Trance Pioneer producer BT as well as Isotope. It's called Stutter Edit. I'm sure a lot of you have heard about it. Uh, this was uh, being mentioned a lot more. You know, I feel like not as many people are talking about it, which I know they're out there using it because it's very unique and it does something really, really cool in terms of uh, chopping up audio into these very, very fine cut divisions. You can see here, we have some insane note values and then we can also do things with delays and crazy filtering and quantizing and it's a deep plugin. And you can trigger these DJ style, which I'll show you in just a minute on your actual you know, stereo bus, your final mix, or you can use these in your mixing process to really jazz up things like delays, even a reverb, or even you know just particular parts of a vocal, which I'm gonna show you right now how we can add this to a delay to do some things that are gonna definitely turn heads when people hear this. So if I play it back right now, I've turned the delay up just for the example to uh, exaggerate it a bit so you can hear it. And then I'm gonna turn on stutter edit and we'll start uh, using some of these gestures is what they're called. They follow, we lead them all. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just that, yeah, yeah, that part, uh, we're running that particular delay aux as a sidechain into stutter edit. And then I'm gonna trigger that here on a, a software instrument. This is a MIDI controlled uh, instrument in Logic. And so I'll show you what that does when we start triggering it. My flow is off the wall. Yeah, yeah. You hear me when I call, yeah, yeah. They follow, we lead them all, yeah, yeah. Don't doubt when I said that I bought, yeah, yeah. Foot in the door and I'm fitting to get it now. My flow is on the wall, yeah, yeah. You hear me when I call, yeah, They follow, we lead them all, Yeah. 
Coming in at number four is Crystallizer from Sound Toys. It's hard to really explain exactly all the things that this does, but it's a very unique processing tool for vocals. If you want to get some just outer worldly, very bizarre types of sounds, this is definitely the plugin for you. But in this particular example, we had an outro where uh, Itty the rapper is just kind of speaking. And then on the, uh, the last part of this, I really wanted to have this echo that just kind of went like, no, 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 and sort of just pitched down. Now you could automate that, you know, just with a pitch plugin, or you could use Crystallizer and get a much more unique effect. I'll play it back without Crystallizer and then with it to give you a better idea. Stick me out, but you just smell cologne, you know? You know? No, no, for real. So that last no, you know, right now it's just got this echo or this delay on it. And uh, when that 808 comes in at the end, I just wanted it to be really eerie and just match the vibe of, you know, just that nasty outro. So with Crystallizer, we've got a preset dialed in here that it's going, going to uh, just slowly move that pitch down. Now listen to this. No, no, for real. Do you know? Do you know? I'm going to solo that and let you just hear it. It's really cool. No, 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 no. That's just one use of Crystallizer. Lots of possibilities. I use this in a ton of different sessions, and I would encourage you to experiment with it for vocal processing because you can get some very very unique stuff out of it. Last but certainly not least on the list of top five ear candy mixing plugins is a stock plugin in Logic Pro X and it's called Step Effects. And so you've got a step modulation here and you can route this to all types of different effects here, uh, filter, distortion, reverb. So what I've done here is I've got a, a little bridge section with some backup vocals that were done. Let me just play those back for you. All right, so now with this uh, setting in step effects, we're going to modulate the gate as well as the panning. So let's hear what that does. So you can go down here in the step sequencer and edit all this stuff manually, and we can change things like the rate And then we can also route to all the other things here in the plugin, like the filter cutoff. Let me just turn that mix up. We'll turn this back a little bit. And let's just say we wanted it to kind of slowly rise here. You could also switch, let's say we wanted to control the reverb mix. You can automate that. You've also got an XY control here that you can actually set up to any of these different parameters. All right, those are my top five ear candy mixing plugins. I can guarantee you that these are going to add a lot of excitement to your mixes, to your productions. The creative possibilities are endless. There's so many different uses here. I only covered you know a few for each of these, but I definitely encourage you to uh, jump in. And uh, if you're looking for some things that are going to make your mixes and productions stand apart from the rest and take it just to the next level in terms of you know not just having a standard reverb or a standard delay here or you know a standard filtered transition or modulation 
these are definitely taking things up a notch and giving you something that is going to turn a lot of your listeners' heads. So I hope you have as much fun with them as I have. If you have any questions about the plugins we covered, or if you have some to add, we'd love to hear about them in the comments section. Let us know below. If you learn anything in the video, please like, subscribe, and consider sharing. And we'll talk to you soon.